We're having the biggest herb festival we have ever had in 16 years. The festival as a whole is a fantastic thing. It's family oriented, no loud music, no alcohol, and people say a festival cannot go on in South Louisiana without this, but I got news for some people. They like it here like that. I like the music and the other stuff too, but this is just very family oriented. And people are coming in right now, they're parking wherever they can find a spot and walking maybe a half a mile or so just to come in the gate and they have their little children with them either on their backs if they're small or pulling in wagons they got their wagons it's wonderful the festival is a, a great it's it's really a great success it's been a great success for 15 years this is our 16th year we started out with 10 vendor, vendors 15 years ago we now up to a hundred and I have a list of about 25, maybe 30 vendors that want to come, but we just don't have enough place. This is important for the community, for the tax base it brings into the town and the surrounding area. And the business people tell us that uh, they like for us to have this festival because not only do the people come shop the festival, but they stay in area bed and breakfast and, you know, local hotels like in Opelousa and Lafayette, and they'll spend money in town eating after the festival is over. It's just, it's good. We have um, four master gardeners who are going to do lectures on various ways to do a garden, square foot gardening, how to uh, plant herbs, herbs that are native and can grow in the climate and the soil we have here and just some fun things that you can do with flowers and plants. Well, the Sunset Herb Festival invites Master Gardeners to come speak at topics on different topics every year. And this year I'm talking about herbs. I did butterflies a couple of years ago. Those are my favorites. But we have Master Gardeners coming uh, all throughout the day and we do every year talking on different topics that different Master Gardeners are enthusiastic about. You just spread the love and the joy of herbs. I just love it and I just think the more people that are in tune with more natural things in life are going to have a long-term love affair with nature and gardening and wildlife and everything that, that combines to make that the, the good side of life. We don't, we don't look at all the cultural popular things. This is like the ancient stuff of life that I think makes people happy. And what would you say is the best benefit of herbs? Oh, just rubbing them and rolling them and smell them and, and look at them and just love them. You can see the birds and butterflies go to them. These are the, the ancient plants that have been around the longest and so the wildlife knows that they're there and they we can tweak them and make different flavors and types but herbs are just ancient, the true plants of the earth. Try them and play with them and they're easily available. There's, there's just a joy for so many different reasons. Beth and I both talked about herbs but she has a whole different way of looking at them than I do. She looks at them more as the uses and I look at them more as the plants so there's for every person that loves herbs there's a different reason to love them. The food is wonderful we have barbecued hamburgers we have pasta salad with shrimp and uh, chicken and we have a fruit salad that was uh, catered by Brent LeBlanc's catering and we have a wonderful sweet booth that uh, the club members make sweets and donate to the club and uh, to sell for the festival and the kitchen shop in Grand Cato has gracefully donated some gato nana for us to sell and the kitchen shop is very well known for that so if you want something good to eat i think we got it and we got the normal nachos and the chili dogs and the blooming onions that's what we're famous for what's so special about these blooming onions they're homemade if you want to say it that way we have our own flour mix that i make uh, we fry it in a good peanut oil and they make a good batter and an awesome sauce that they make all homemade sauce you know and uh, we'll sell every onion we have today, probably. We have several, ven I mean, several vendors. We have a total of 96. And we have everything from metal bird houses, wood bird houses made out of cypress. We have planters. We have various herbs. Uh, there are some of the uh, people here with nurseries that do just herbs. We have beautiful bougainvilleas. Um, I just, and the list just goes on and on. Glass chimes, uh, handmade by one of our art, resident artists who is uh, the mayor's wife. And uh, all kind of herb soaps and just, and just almost anything you want. What we do, it's uh, Sunset Herbs is the business that we're working for. It's a wholesale nursery and we do mostly uh, herbs and perennials, different sorts, culinary, medicinal. And what are the specific herbs you sell? Uh, it's a wide variety. We do uh, basils and thymes and all sorts of uh, 
varieties of, of herbs. Now we do have uh, flowering things, but it, it's, a, it's just a, a wide assortment. We've been here since the very first time they had it, uh, probably about 10, 12 years ago. And what kind of herbs do y'all grow? We grow uh, orchids and unusual yard and house plants. Uh, if it's unusual, difficult to find and hard to come by, we probably have a few of them. We specialize in bromeliads and orchids and also we have the telangias which are part of the bromeliad family. And we grow these, we have four greenhouses and they're not very hard to grow. We always say bromeliads thrive on neglect. You water them weekly. Some of them we can water every two weeks. The ones in the larger pots are watered every two weeks. The ones in the smaller pots are watered weekly. We mount them on driftwood. We ha you can see a big piece of driftwood right here that we mounted a plant on. We have them on hanging mounts, floor mounts. Little, we have them on barnacles. The mount keeps them, it's, it's attractive, it's a display. You can have a pot plant, put it in your house, but with the mount, you can hang them outdoors, as long as you don't put them in full sun. They like filtered light or partial shade. I have bird feeders, bird houses, uh, bat houses, and people have been asking about butterfly houses, so I made some butterfly houses. And uh, my wife has some, some crafts of her own, too, so we have a pretty good selection. I make everything from cedar fence. Uh, I either buy new cedar fence or uh, I ride around the neighborhood on my bicycle and some people throw out their old fence, I pick it up and make birdhouses and bird feeders out of it. What would you say is the best attraction at the festival? We have such beautiful flowers and yard art and everything else. It's, it's hard to say. What I just love all the flowers and the herbs. It's just meaning the people. People come by and talk to you. You see people you hadn't seen in a while and it's a good gathering place for the local people and everybody else around. It's a wonderful event for Sunset for the community. It, you know, it brings a, a lot of people here and it's, it's a wonderful event. I mean, we have vendors that come from all over the state and it's you know, a wide assortment of, of wonderful things. You know, we have plants and we have uh, furniture and everything in between. The herbs, we come every year. Uh, my daughters and I, we enjoy buying them and uh, the smell is wonderful. <laughs> There's a bunch of different objects that we get to see we don't really see. There's some pretty cool things here I've never seen before. We enjoy it here in Sunset. As far as garden shows are concerned, this is probably one of your better garden shows between this and Festival, uh, the Fleurs in uh, Lafayette and the, er and the, the festival in uh, Abbeville. But as far as herbs, this is probably one of the better places for herb fest. I love the plants. Uh, I always try to get some plants to take home and I have a fairly large yard and I love my plants. I've been coming since it was first organized and they started out with like eight or ten vendors to start with and then it has grown since then and um, Vivian who kind of heads it up is in my daughter's family, her husband's family. So that's how I got started with it and I love it. I just come down here and spend the weekend. I like the festival because it's fun. They have a lot of paintings and they have a lot of herbs and they have a lot of everything. This festival, it, it's more of a hometown festival as opposed to some of the music festivals that we'd have in some of the bigger cities. It's, uh, it's more community based. Yeah, these are you know, just regular hometown folks and you know, it's, uh, it's great to get out and do family events with the kids and you know, have a, just time with the family. My wife and my children go look at the different arts and crafts and they always come back, usually have their face painted or something. Yeah. It's a good uh, clean festival, no beer or nothing like that, so it's real good for kids and the whole family to come out. Especially if you like plants, this is the place to come. This one has a hometown feel. Um, it's laid back and there's places for the kids to run around and it's just uh, got a good feeling to it. Um, we had brought one of our friends last year, she said it reminded her of something from Steel Magnolias. <laughs> it's a great festival, the people here are coming from all around. Uh, they have food and beverages and, and things for the kids. A lot of these people, the crafts they sell are like little pop guns and slingshots. And there's, there's something here for everybody. And it's a very nice day, too. Nice breeze. It's a, a beautiful spring day. Um, great time to, you know, be with the family and kids and see some beautiful plants and great, you know, local artists and yard art.
We come every year. It's a one-day show, so people come out and they're ready to get their spring plants. And we enjoy coming. We come every year, and we have, as you can see, a kind of a large booth. But we do well here, so the people are very nice, and we enjoy coming. The people down here are extremely friendly. I mean, they always was. I, I lived down here from 76 to 84 in Sunset, and they're, they're just overwhelmingly they just take you in their arms and, and welcome you. They really do. They're very, very nice, very cordial. There's a lot to offer. There's more than herbs. There's a lot of uh, arts and crafts and beautiful flowers. Um, just about anything you're looking for, a lot of yard art and things like that. I think you'd enjoy it. And what would you like the guests to take away from the festival today? To see how nice we are here in Sunset, Louisiana, how pretty our little town is, and how proud we are of what we have here. All the plants, the, uh, the flowers, they're just beautiful. They have bougainvilleas, they have uh, just everything. Um, and, and everything's in bloom. So, but they will sell out because they always do. I think if they came out just one time, they would never miss it again because everyone that has come, you know, even last year, they're calling and they, they want to come back again. So it's just repeaters, they just love the festival. And I think it's because we do not sell any alcohol and we don't have any uh, loud music. And it's really a family-oriented day.